He was a bigger than life iconic rapper and now he's gone. At the age of 20, millions of fans and followers of the controversial XXX Tentacion are reeling in pain and grief, but the lingering question begs to be asked, where did he go? Heaven, hell, or neither? Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, so I want to be very careful to not judge. I didn't really, uh, I wasn't really aware of this rapper until he was gunned down, uh, drive-by uh, shooter. And of course, that individual, the culprit, the murderer has been uh, arrested and uh, is going to face charges. And so what about this iconic rapper, XXX uh, Tentacion? What about him? Well, one thing for sure, I'm going to tell you, just being honest from what I've read, uh, the things that he has done prior to and during his career as a rapper to other as to others, what he did to others to hurt them is, in my opinion, demonic. Now, just just follow with me that he can't even talk about them on the channel. They are so dark. There's just some things we just cannot talk about, okay? You say, well, wow, look at some of the things he did just earlier this year where he went out and bought some kids, a bunch of things and so forth. And I say, that's, that's moving, that's wonderful. And I, I think that's great. But we gotta really take an honest look very quickly of the lyrics, the life and the legacy of this iconic rapper. And I don't have time to really get into too much about the lyrics, but maybe just mentioning some of the song titles. But I do have something to say about this, some takeaways, all right? My biblical perspective on what happened. I've got to respond to this. And so um, I, d I want to go to the first graphic here. We want to be very careful what we say. And so is... Tentacion, XXX Tentacion, in heaven or hell or neither? Well, does the Bible shed light on this? Well, I can tell you one thing for sure. From Wiki about XXX Tentacion, from Wiki, uh, Jehesa Dwayne Onfroy, uh, born in January 23, 1998, died, shot down age 20, June 18, 2018. And uh, so uh, one thing for sure, he was an American rapper, singer, and songwriter, born and raised in Plantation, Florida, on Froy, that's his real name, spent most of his childhood in uh, Launderd Hill, there in Florida. He began writing music after being released from a youth correction center and released his first song, on SoundCloud in June 2013, titled News Flock. He was a popular figure in sound, SoundCloud rap, a trap scene that takes elements of lo-fi music and harsh 808s. On Freud released his debut album, 17, on August 25, at the age of 17, on August 25, 2017. Uh, or I guess that's uh, album there, number 17. On Freud's second album was released. Um, pardon me, not his 17th album. On Freud released his debut album uh, on August 25, 2017. On Freud's second album was released on March 16, 2018. It debuted, get this, at number one of the Billboard 200 with its singles, watch this, Sad and changes peaking at numbers seven and 37 on the billboard hot 100 respectfully uh and so uh in addition to that on was shot and killed obviously june 18 2018 after leaving a motorcycle dealership in deerfield beach florida okay so uh next graphic go to next graphic here uh, so the rapper XX Tension shot dead in Florida, police say. And so I'm going to say a few things. All right. The Bible says, by their fruits, 
you shall know them. Matthew 7 and verse 20. And so I do not know his motives. I do not really know him. But based on what I have read, uh, I see no evidence, no evidence by his life that he was really living for God. Could he have done some good things? Apparently he did. But I don't even want to go there in terms of some of the dark things. You say, well, everybody's done some dark things and so forth. Yeah, I get that. But looking at this man and his history, I really think that it is tragic that he died suddenly in this manner, in this way. But I also think it's tragic of things that he did during his life. And I can only hope that somehow, some way, in his mind and his heart, uh, that he did give his life to the Lord. And what, obviously, he was trying, apparently, to make some progress and better his life and so forth. He was facing uh, some charges uh, and a uh, pending uh, trial. And so the Bible says in Proverbs 27 and verse 1, Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. You don't know about tomorrow. He was apparently interested in getting a motorcycle. And the Bible says, don't boast about tomorrow. Second thing, the Bible makes it very, very clear. We're all born in sin. We're all sinners. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. Naturally, we have a hard heart. But Jesus wants to give us a brand new heart. A heart of flesh and the Bible, a heart that feels, right? A heart that feels. Now, I want you to notice the, the tattoo uh, word under his right eye. I think you can see it readily. It says numb. Numb. That is the way we all are living in sin. Numb. But the Bible makes it very clear that if we give our heart to the Lord, we have a new heart, a heart of flesh, Ezekiel 36, 26, and 27. We're not numb. No, 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 we've been energized. We've been revitalized. We've been restored. We've been converted. We're a new person. Old things are passed away. All things are become new, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. So I'm just saying that when we give our heart to Jesus, we're no longer numb. The gospel moves us. The cross moves us. The love of Jesus, 2 Corinthians 5, 14 says, the love of Christ compels us or moves us or motivates us. We're no longer numb. Are we still sinners? Yes, but we feel. The Bible says, Paul says, we weep with those who weep. We, we uh, rejoice with those who rejoice. And the Bible makes it very clear that we begin to feel empathy for people. Well, obviously, a number of things he did in his life revealed that he was numb. Okay, I get it that he did some good things and so forth. You say, well, I'm sorry, uh, Mark. I'm, I'm one of his greatest fans and so forth. Okay, that, that's between you and the Lord. But I can only say this. This is not the kind of life that you want to live in my opinion. I do not know what was going on in his mind there uh, towards the end of his life and so forth. But I say this, that if you're born again, because the Bible makes it very clear, only those who are born again will go to heaven. Only those who are born again, who are converted, will go to heaven, according to Jesus in John 3, verse 3, and John 3 and verse 8. So if you and I want to be saved, we need to be born again. Okay, so what about this question that still lingers and needs to be uh, raised and asked? And that is, is this rapper in XXX Tentacion, is he in heaven or hell or neither? I'm going to tell you on the authority of the word of God, neither. You say, how's that? Because in John 5, I'm giving you scriptures. I'm giving you scripture references so you can check them out. And on my, on my channel, and by the way, we have almost 100,000 subscribers now, and that's you. And I want to just say, thank the Lord that God has led you to this channel. I try to 
seek to give you what's in the word. If it's in the Bible, we want it. If it's not in the Bible, we don't want it. And so check this out. Jesus said in John 5, 28 and 29, he said, all of the dead are in the graves. So the Bible makes it very clear, the dead are dead. So I know some want to immediately put this wrapper either in heaven or they want to put him in hell. And I say, let's put him where Jesus says he is. In John 5, 28 and 29, check it out, read it. Don't take my word for it. John 5, 28 and 29. The Bible makes it very clear that this, this rapper, controversial rapper, and I pray that somehow he'll be saved. I don't know what was going on in his mind, I repeat. But the Bible says, in the authority of the Word of God, the Bible says that he's in the grave. He's in the grave. And the Bible, now, obviously, I don't think he's done a, they've done a burial yet, but the point is, he's really dead, and he will be going to the grave. I don't know when his funeral is scheduled for and so forth, but I'm sure you'll hear it uh, firsthand in the news. But the point is, Jesus said, John 5, 28 and 29, talking about both the righteous and the unrighteous. So whether in his heart, he gave his heart to the Lord and he was righteous, or he was unrighteous, God is the judge. But I can only say, categorically, Jesus said, John 5, 28, 29, all that are in the graves shall hear his voice and come forth, those that have done good to the resurrection of life, those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation or damnation. So there's two distinct resurrections. Some, that is the righteous, are gonna come up from the grave and they get a brand new body. They get a brand new body and uh, like Jesus, according to Philippians 3 and I think it's verse 21, we get a body like Jesus. And the Bible, and, and it says in 1 Corinthians 15, uh, verses um, 51 to 55, it makes it very clear that this corruptible will put an incorruption at the last trump at the second coming of Jesus Christ. That's when the righteous dead come forth from the grave. They're miraculously resurrected and they go to be with the Lord then. When a righteous person dies, they go to the grave, remain there until Jesus comes, gives them a brand new body, and then they will be absent from this corruptible body and present with the Lord with a brand new incorruptible body, an immortal body. So the Bible makes it very simple that for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18. So the hope beyond the grave, if the rapper XXX Tentacion, if he was dying, died in the Lord, then when Jesus comes again, he'll be resurrected get a brand new uh, body, no, uh, no um, uh, wounds, fatal wounds uh, from the drive-by uh, shooting. No, 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 he'll have a brand new body, all right? And go to be with the Lord at the second coming of Jesus Christ. God is the judge of that. If he did not give his heart to the Lord, the Bible makes it very clear the wages of sin is death, eternal death, Romans 6, 23. But the Bible makes it very clear the wicked go to the grave. When they die, they go to the grave and they remain there until the resurrection, the resurrection of condemnation or damnation. Now I have videos in which I deal with the dead or dead and about hope beyond the grave and, and do we go straight to heaven when we die? Anyway, I have a number of videos about this. Well, what about the thief on the cross and so forth? I explained this on my channel about um, <clears throat> on my different videos. So the Bible is very quick. I got to go quickly with this. So the Bible makes it very clear that if this rapper was unsaved, if he died and, and will go down to a Christless grave, he will remain there until the resurrection of the wicked. Well, when is that going to be? According to the book of Revelation, chapter 20, it happens after the millennium. Now, positive proof that the dead are dead, not in heaven yet or in hell yet. 
Yes, the righteous dead will go to be with the Lord when Jesus comes to take them home. First they sleep in Jesus, then they're awakened in Jesus. The wicked, however, they're not sleeping in Jesus. They're just in the grave, dead, resurrected at the close of the millennium. And, and uh, the Bible makes it very clear that at that point, they are thrust into the lake of fire at that time. And they're consumed. And the Bible says the wages of sin is death, eternal death. Revelation 21 verse 8 calls it the second death from which there is no resurrection. The Bible makes it very clear in um, Malachi 4 verses 1 to 4. It makes it very clear the wicked will be reduced to ashes just like Sodom and Gomorrah. And you can read that in 2 Peter chapter 2 verses uh, 6 to 9. So Jesus said, Matthew 5 verse 30, that when a person goes to, uh, to hell, they go there physically, bodily. Therefore, the rapper, if he is going to go to hell, he's not in there now because the Bible says they go to hell bodily. That's obviously after the millennium when the wicked are resurrected, they're resurrected physically, they face the great white throne judgment, and they're thrust into the lake of fire and they are consumed and ultimately reduced to ashes. And so the Bible makes it very clear that the wicked are going to be destroyed. One of the most familiar passages makes it very clear. The difference between heaven and hell, what does the Bible say? The Bible says, Jesus said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever uh, believeth in him should not perish, that's what's going to happen to the wicked, but have everlasting life. So the opposite of everlasting life is not everlasting perishing, but perish. Well, they're put out of existence. The fires are so hot that it puts them out of existence. You say, well, Mark, what about this scripture? What about that scripture? That's why in this channel, we deal with some of these different subjects and I'll put in the description some links that will be helpful to you to study this topic. Now, I want to encourage you, I want to encourage you right now to follow the channel because we go into these different topics. Furthermore, if it's in the Bible, we want it. If it's not in the Bible, we don't want it. I don't know if the rapper knew Jesus or not. I don't know if he was born again or not. Are you born again? Have you given your heart to Jesus Christ? Maybe you're in your teens and you think, or you're 20 and you think, well, I got, I got my life in front of me. I'm sure that's what the rapper thought, or maybe he thought, I don't know, maybe he felt a dread of, uh, of a death in the near future, I don't know. I think he might have talked about some of those things, but the point is this, are you ready to die? I know it's not really a neat thought to think about, but if we're ready to die, we're really living. The Bible says that the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6, verse 23. Do you know Jesus personally? That's what my channel is all about. That's what my channel is all about. And I want to encourage you if you have not already, to give your heart to Jesus right now. And I want to encourage you to go ahead and write in the uh, chat room box there. Uh, I give my heart to Jesus. Come on now, I had to deal with the uh, sudden death of this iconic rapper. And my response to you is, are you, have you given your heart to Jesus? Are you right with God? Are you ready to go? Romans 5 verse 1 says that be, if we have faith in Jesus, we are right with God. Romans 5 and verse 1. Hallelujah. So type it in right now, even in the uploaded version. Okay, come on now. The rapper is dead. You're alive. We can't do anything. We, we can't change anything, okay? He, he's gone. And, and the Bible says it's given unto men once to die, and after that, the judgment. Hebrews 9 and verse 28. God is the judge, not me. And so very clearly, what about you? Give your heart to Jesus. Go ahead and write it in. I give my heart to Jesus. And now there's a number on your screen. 
that you can text. If you would like, listen, YouTube, I want to say this. This is a very, very important. I've been talking this over with staff. Very important. YouTube, I've come to understand, does not always notify you of my uploads or my live streams. They don't always uh, do that. And so what I want to do right now is I want you right now, if you would like me to notify you by text. All you need to do right now is text this number on the screen, 940-222-4445, but you have to type in the word prayer. And then after you get a response back, which will be right away, then you go ahead, you can give us your prayer request and go ahead and just say, I want to be notified. That way, that way, if YouTube doesn't notify you of our uploads or live streams because many of you are like, oh, I missed it or why wasn't I notified and so forth. Sometimes you taught YouTube drops the ball. So that's why we have a backup plan with texting. And so there's the text number on the screen. That way you don't miss any of our future uploads. So go ahead, 940-222-4445. You got to text in the, the word prayer first, get a response back and then say, Mark, I want to be notified, all right? And we'll make sure you're notified. And, um, and give us a prayer request if you want, okay? Finally, I want to send to you some free magazines, all right? And I've been doing this. So many of you, hundreds and hundreds of you have asked for these magazines. This will help to better understand, you to better understand what we're teaching on our channel about the second coming of Jesus Christ, end time, events and so forth and about the bible sabbath the seventh day bible sabbath and uh, so if you would like us to send this to you and all oh, how i wish the rapper how i could wish i could give xx uh attention i wish i could have given him the book steps of christ and he would read it beforehand this book is powerful yes i would have loved to have given this to the iconic rapper but i want to give it to you all you need to do is give me your name and address, text it in there, and we'll go ahead and get our staff, will get this out to you free of charge, of course. And so go ahead, text in there. I wanna be, just say I wanna be notified. Uh, text me that prayer request, name, address, if you want us to get this, uh, all of these uh, magazines and book to you and so forth. And furthermore, finally, Many of you are asking me, so many of you are asking me, Mark, I want to find a church that is teaching and preaching what you're teaching and preaching on your channel. Well, I can tell you that I can help you there. I can help you. I've already been helping a lot of you. If you would like me to help and send you links and suggest churches to you that are preaching the truth, that are preaching these end time prophecies, that are uplifting the second coming of Christ, Bible, Sabbath, and so forth. Um, just say, tell me in the text, Mark, what church would you suggest? What church would you suggest? Go ahead and do that in the text as well. I want you to know that we love you in the name of Jesus. I know I had to just do this video very quickly, and um, uh, you know, I just I just had to go to broadcast, and so I, I hope that you've given your heart to Jesus. Don't know if the rapper is going to be saved or not, but I can tell you that he's dead. And so we wait until the second coming of Christ to see who's going to be resurrected and go home to be with the Lord. And at that time, absent from this body, present with the Lord with a brand new body, or will he be among the wicked who are resurrected after the millennium? All right. Go with Jesus. Go with Jesus. We love you all. And uh, hopefully we'll be on tomorrow. We've got some exciting videos coming up. Until next time, Mark Fox here signing off. Love you in the name of Jesus.